Hello everyone, today I'm going to be changing the oil in my 2017 Ford Escape with a 1.5 liter. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is lift up the front of the vehicle, either drive on some ramps or jack it up and put, up, put it on some stands. Next thing you're going to pop the hood in the driver door here. Pull this, pop the hood. Under here, right there, there's the old thing, and then attach the hood prop right there. So now we have access to the engine compartment. This is where you'll uh, fill the oil. Here's your oil dipstick. But for now, we're going to get under the vehicle and find a oil catcher, take out the oil drain plug. Before you can get to the drain plug, you have to take off this uh, cover here. It has, is secured by some bolts that use a Torx bit. I've got a T30 bit that I'm going to use. And then you might have one here. Um, I don't, but there's a place for one. Now that we have all the torque screws removed, we can go ahead and slide this out. It drops down and you slide it forward and you can just move it out of the way. Okay, so I've got my drain pan under the engine here and uh, I've got a 13 millimeter socket to remove the drain plug. And I'm just going to let that drain for a while. So while this is draining and it's slowed down a little bit so you can put slide the oil the catch pan up, um, you can go ahead and locate the uh, oil filter which is towards the front of the vehicle here. It's right there in, in all these hoses here. You can go ahead and take that off and let it drain as well. I've got an oil filter wrench to help me get it off. I think I'm going to opt for the pliers instead.
I like to pre-fill the filter before I put the new one on. Um, but since this is installed at a right angle, I can only fill it up about halfway, probably a little bit less than halfway. The uh, number for this oil filter is FL910S. I believe uh, if it's Fram, it's PH3614. And I've got the synthetic blend 5W20. Before you install the replacement filter, you want to double check that the oil filter uh, seal did not stay on the engine and it's still on the old filter. So now I'm ready to put this back on. Try to keep it upright as much as I can. And so once you, uh, the oil filter meets the engine, that gasket starts to press against the block. You're going to turn it an additional three-fourths to one full turn. So uh, up there on mine, let's see if I can, there we go, you can start to see the P926M uh, there, all that marking, which if we look at the old one, there's only one of those on there. So I'm going to turn it until I see that again. Now that we've got that reinstalled, we can go ahead and reinstall the drain plug since it's down to just a trickle now. You're going to want to make sure it's nice and snug on there, but you don't want to um, tighten it too much and strip out the threads because this is just an aluminum pan and uh, you can't. All right. So now that we've got all this installed, I do like to take a rag and wipe off as much oil as I can so when we start it back up, there's not a big uh, burnt oil smell and also none, no extra oil drips on your driveway or in the garage or something like that. Now we are ready to pour in our oil. Like before, I've got the 5W20. Um, you're going to want, I think it takes about four and a half quarts. So there's this little see-through area. You're gonna, it's gonna be between the one and the bottom there when you're finished and you're going to want to use the same you're counting the oil that you put in the filter as well So 
so I've poured in the, the four and a half quarts. So now I'm going to go ahead and start the car and let it run for a little while and uh, make sure there are no leaks. And uh, then after we get the, the uh, bottom panel reinstalled there, we'll get this on level ground and check the oil level. Before I reinstall this, I just want to kind of get a picture of it and show you guys where all the screws go through. There's four in the front. There's one in the side there. And then I only had two in the back. This middle one didn't have one on mine, but it's probably just missing. And then there's one more on this side. I've got all these uh, screws started, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them all back in. So that is how you change the oil in a 2017 Ford Escape. Um, now you, all you've got to do is uh, lower this back down onto the ground, onto level, level ground, and pull this dipstick and check the oil level. And uh, put some more oil in if it needs it. Hey. 